Inside the insane lives of football's richest stars. Today, we're going to show you the Billionaire Battle, a competition that doesn't take place in a stadium or on a field, but on the big stage of living a great life. It's Haaland versus Mbappe, and each of their corners of the world is filled with symbols of luxury, like Hublot, Rolls-Royce, Ferrari, and Patek Philippe, a game with a lot of extravagance and luxury. Erling Haaland, a Norwegian soccer deity, plays for Manchester City in the City of Dreams. His salary, which exceeds a million dollars weekly, is astounding. According to Daily Mail rumors, his fortune stacks up to about 900,000 pounds sterling per week. If you let this magnificent sum run for a year, it grows to an astonishing annual salary of $51 million. A treasure trove inflated by sumptuous cherry-picked extras, which, according to the report, are not as rare as Fabergé eggs in Holland's repertoire. If these rumors are true, this youthful genius would easily rise to the top of the Premier League's financial hierarchy. Kylian Mbappe, a French prodigy, has plenty in his bank account. In three years, he earned $75 million. His compensation, like a unique timepiece from Patek Philippe, is a testament to his unparalleled genius and leaves everyone in wonder. But what do they spend their millions on? Let's start with the mansions. So we turn our attention to Erling Haaland, who is a master on the field and now fights for Manchester City. He lives in luxurious places that will take your breath away. Let's start with a beautiful $3.7 million house in the exclusive neighborhood of Hale Barnes, Cheshire, that used to belong to Paul Pogba himself. This 981 square meter home with five bedrooms is the very meaning of wealth. But it's more than just a beautiful site. It has features fit for a king, such as a private theater room for movie nights and a quiet lounge where Holland can relax after a tough battle on the field. Imagine a beautiful 77-meter pool, an outdoor shower, and even a sauna if the lush yard isn't enough to get your mind going. It's like he has his own little piece of paradise right outside his door. The price tag on this beautiful home is a hefty $3 million. But this is just one of Holland's many beautiful things. In Marbella, Spain, south of the Costa del Sol, you can find another luxurious home. This house is a great example of the high life along the Mediterranean coast. It is in the popular neighborhood of Nagelis. It covers a huge 981 square meters and is not just a place for Holland to be alone, but also a safe place for his whole clan. I'm sure that even his father, Alfie Holland, likes all the nice things this house has to offer. The outside of this house looks just as nice as the inside. The grounds have a beautiful garden, a relaxing pool, and a jacuzzi to help you relax and forget about the pressures of life. This piece of paradise in the Mediterranean is thought to be worth about $7.6 million. In fact, Holland's homes are typical of a way of life that only billionaires can afford. Kylian Mbappe knows how to live in a way that is extravagantly luxurious on its own. His home is in the wealthy 16th area of Paris, right in the middle of all the action in the grand city of lights. From this spot, he enjoys the beautiful view of Champ de Mar, which is often called the Pulse of Paris. But the views don't end there. The best part of this beautiful view is that you can see the Eiffel Tower without any obstructions. Word on the street is that this most luxurious thing ever costs $3.7 million. But this apartment has more to offer than just luxury and great views. It is also good from a military point of view. This luxurious home is just a few steps away from Parc de Prince, where his team, PSG, plays. Like its owner, it is a mix of style, wealth, and functionality. Although Mbappe's Parisian hideaway is attractive, it is crystal clear that Holland is the winner of this luxury mansion battle. Let's move on to the car collection. Erling Holland's car collection is full of expensive cars that are works of art. The group consists of a robust Range Rover Sport, which costs $99,000, a nice-looking Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe that costs $55,000, and a loud Audi RS6 Avant, a cool $100,000 ride. Get ready for the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, which is the best car in Holland's garage. Its value, a staggering $375,000. It has a white finish and is his favorite chariot for everyday adventures. It suits his wealthy lifestyle well. This SUV is the best in its class when it comes to beauty, comfort, and style. Mbappe's lavish car collection. He has Mercedes-Benz V-Class, $76,670 the solid $92,290 Volkswagen Multivan. Hold your breath as we unveil his Ferrari 488 Pista, his collection's crown treasure. 
Its 3.9-liter twin-turbo V8 engine produces 711 horsepower and 567 pounds-feet of torque. This beast can accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 2.85 seconds and reach 211 miles per hour. Its price tag of $330,000 will leave you stunned. Mbappe owns many expensive cars, but he doesn't have a license. One of the pitfalls of achieving success at a young age is missing out on the mundane aspects of life, such as obtaining a driver's license, he said candidly. It's practically everyone's rite of passage. It's a burden for many, but not for me. Since I always had chauffeurs, I had independence early on. Never a priority. Despite PSG paying for his driving lessons, Mbappe refuses to drive at 24. He doesn't need it. Looks like in this race of luxury cars, Holland takes the lead. Before we continue this luxurious duel of prosperity, please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. I request a thumbs up from you. Expensive watches. Holland's interest in watches began when he was just 19 years old. Since then, he has built up a large collection of luxury watches that is unmatched. The Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Jumbo Extra Thin, which is made of yellow gold and is believed to be worth $350,000, is at the heart of his most prized watches. This wrist art, which is worth more than a lot of homes, shows how much he likes luxurious things. Adding to the show is another Audemars Piguet masterpiece, the Royal Oak with a salmon dial. This premium watch costs a whopping $300,000. These aren't just watches, they're real signs of greatness. When we turn our attention to Mbappe, another fan of expensive watches, we see that he likes statement watches that are both stylish and useful. The Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Chronograph, which has a 44mm titanium shell and a black ceramic bezel with a screw-locked crown, is one of his most prized items. With a water protection of 100 meters, it is a great example of how well style and function can go together. It is worth about $50,000. Still, his collection shows how much he loves Hublot. The 18 karat rose gold Hublot Big Bang Millennial Pink, which is big, automatic, and pink, is one of his watches. With its bright pink color and luxurious features, this watch is sure to stand out. It is a sight to see, with an approximate value of $70,000. The Hublot Unico Big Bang is another masterpiece in his collection. It has a red sapphire crystal case and a sleek black rubber strap. This risky, expensive watch costs about the same, which is about $70,000. It looks like the value of Holland's Audemars Piguet collection alone is more than the value of all of Mbappe's high-end watches put together. So, Holland has won another battle in this expensive game of pride and glory. Business. In fact, it's clear that Holland has a talent for business that goes beyond how good he is at football. His first stake is in Hyperichi, which is a growing tech company in the sports industry. This innovative company is known for their muscle recovery devices which are used by top athletes in a wide range of sports. Holland not only gives money to Hyperacy's international soccer campaign, but he also represents the cause. With Holland as their spokesperson, Hyperish seems to be making more money and becoming more well-known in the sports world. At the same time, Mbappe has made a name for himself in the world of high-stakes business by making smart bets. One of the things he has done recently is put money into a tech company called Sorare. Investing in a company like Sorari as an angel investor is definitely a feather in his cap. But that's not the end of the story. He has worked with well-known brands like Nike and Hublot, which adds to his reputation in the luxury world. Take, for example, the cover art of FIFA 21, a video game that became a huge hit and made the gaming world talk. EA Sports, a big name in video games, chose Mbappe to be on the cover. He was one of the youngest players to get this honor, which is interesting. He stood alone in his glory. Hold your breath, because we haven't yet gone deep into their wealth. Holland has a net worth of $40 million and likes to show off his collection of high-paying contracts and salaries. When it comes to Mbappe, the numbers go up to a staggering $180 million for his net worth. As this lavish story of wealth comes to an end, it's time to name the winner of this grand show of living in style. Holland lives a life that looks and sounds like that of a billionaire. He wears sparkling bracelets and lives in homes that scream wealth. But being fair means taking a good look at the numbers. So it is Mbappe, whose net worth of $180 million sends shivers down your spine, who neatly slips into the crown. Thanks for watching.